In this video, we will be discussing the operating procedure of the BPR-10. So I put BPRs have two operating modes, a set it and forget it mode which can be utilized to operate the BPR at a static pressure without the need for a continuous gas source, and a continuous set point mode when a continuous gas source is available which can be utilized to operate the BPR at varying pressures for processes which require dynamic operating pressures. To use the BPR in either of these modes, it will require a small adjustable wrench, a small flathead screwdriver, a BPR connect tube, and a gas source. The first method we will be looking at is the set it and forget it mode. Begin by using the small flathead screwdriver to fully open the pressure valve. Connect the BPR connect tube and use the adjustable wrench to gently tighten it into the fitting. Connect the BPR to an external gas source at the pressure you want to set your device to, which for this example is around 5 psi. Turn the gas on and use the flathead screwdriver to gently close the pressure valve. Turn off the gas and disconnect the BPR connect tube from the gas source and remove the tube from the device. Connect a pump and outlet tube to the BPR. After turning the pump on, it can be seen the pressure before the BPR increases to the BPR set point before allowing continuous flow through the device. The second operating mode we will now be looking at is the continuous set point mode. With the BPR connected to a gas source with the pressure valve open, it can be seen that the pressure before the BPR again increases to the pressure of the gas source before allowing flow through the device. However, since the pressure valve is still open, the gas outlet pressure can be increased resulting in an increase to the back pressure of the system before flow resumes. Similarly, the gas outlet pressure can be decreased resulting in a decrease to the back pressure of the system.